Did you know that eating less can improve diabetes control? This story from the Journal of Totally Obvious Conclusions and more on this episode of Newsy News. It's TCOID Newsy News with your hosts, Dr. Steve Edelman and Dr. Jeremy Pettis. Welcome to Newsy News. I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. And I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. Big news in the type one world as companies are finally seeking approval for the use of GLP-1 medications for us folks living with type one. Eli Lilly has started its Surpass T1D study in which patients will get either Monjaro or placebo to look at effects on weight loss and blood sugar improvement. If successful, we could finally have one of those amazing medications approved for type one. That's right, Steve. As you know, Monjaro has been approved in type two diabetes since 2022. And the first GLP-1 was actually approved in 2005. So type ones are long overdue to join the party. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and look at our Newsy News running scoreboard of drugs approved for type one versus type two diabetes. Um, Eric, can you uh, go ahead and throw that up for us? Okay, so great. We've got insulin and then Similin. Actually, Jeremy, no one was using Similin and it was discontinued last month. Okay, so we've got insulin. But if Monjaro gets approved, we can add that to the list. <laughs> Would you look at that, Steve? We're up to two. We're gonna need a bigger board. Truly breathtaking. It is. All right, now for completeness, let's add all the approved drugs for type two diabetes. Oh God. Yeah, it's still going. Oh man, they are kicking the shit out of us, Steve. This is hard to watch, Jeremy. Uh... Finally, oh, jeez. In diet news, a new study tested time-restricted eating, a popular diet these days in overweight people with early type two diabetes. Participants ate only during a four hour window for six weeks, and, and the results were pretty impressive. Time-restricted eating improved pancreatic function, reduced insulin resistance, lowered A1C, and actually helped people lose weight. In fact, you know, I've been so impressed with this data that I recently started implementing this approach with my patients. You know, I actually have a video of my last patient visit. So Steve, take a look at this. Hi, Ms. Johnson. It looks like you have type two diabetes. Well, cheer up because I've got the perfect treatment for you. Here it is. Just don't eat. Hey, why do you look so angry? Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't get up. Ow! What are you doing? Hey! Give me my stethoscope back. Oh. God, she's using it like nunchucks. I mean, what did I say? Nurse, help! Can anybody hear me? What? Where did that chainsaw come from? Now, let's be reasonable about this, Miss Johnson. Now stop, stop. Okay, o okay, I'm sorry! That went... Terribly, Jeremy. Yeah, you know, now that I'm watching it back, I think that could have gone better. A newly completed study called FINE-1 is a phase three trial demonstrating that phenarinone, a mineral corticoid receptor antagonist in adults with type one diabetes can prevent the progression of chronic kidney disease. All right, let's go to the board. No, 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 we aren't doing that again. In any case, this trial has answered a pretty big question. The same kidney benefits seen in type two diabetes can extend to type one. That's right, Steve. With such an important study and catchy title of Fine One, the music industry is rushing to cash in on this craze. Now it's a little silly, but effective in that they are changing lyrics and songs from fine to phenarinone. So let's have a listen. Phenarinone. And another one. She's in love with me and I feel fine. She's in love with me and I feel fine. And one last one. Wow! I feel I knew that I wouldn't. I feel I knew that I wouldn't. That last one's kind of a stretch, Jeremy. I don't know, Steve. I think it slaps. Viewers, you aren't going to believe this last story, but it is completely true. 
Ozempic, a GLP-1 medication with many indications to help people with type 2 diabetes, including a recent indication for MASH. Let's get out the board. No, no board. We're not going to talk about that again. Now, as I was saying, Ozempic, a GLP-1 medication, helps with weight loss by suppressing appetite and affecting gut hormones. Men are reporting that when losing significant weight, particularly around the abdomen and pubic area, the fat that was previously obscuring the base of the penis is reduced, making it appear longer, up to one and a half inches, in fact. Jeremy, what's wrong? Steve, we must be doing something right. For the humor gods have blessed us with a story so ridiculous, so juvenile, that not even you, Steve Edelman, could have made this up. And really, there's only one way to properly thank and give praise to the heavens for the bounty that they've bestowed upon us. How? The first ever newsy news. Joke off! That's right, baby, it's time to joke off. You know, that, that didn't come out right. We haven't, we haven't started yet, but the rules are simple. We've got to make as many jokes as possible before the clock runs out with the best joke winning. I'll go first. Ozempic increases penis length by one and a half inches. Ah, the perfect gift for your special guy just in time for Christmas. Ozempic increases penis size by one and a half inches. With male confidence spiking, stock prices plummet for Porsche, Lamborghini, and Ferrari. Ozempic increases men's penis length by one and a half inches. Nova Nordisk responds by changing their slogan from this. Oh. 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 To this. Oh. 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 How'd you get that clip so fast? Uh, don't worry about it, Steve. Men are so excited about Ozempic, not because they're healthier, because they finally have proof that it's bigger than it looks. Doctors say Ozempic makes things look longer, so finally men are seeing what women have been pretending to. Well, that's it. Time's up. Which joke was the winner? Well, every single one of mine, of course. For TCYD News, News I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. What do you mean all of yours? And yes. he's Dr. Steve Edelman. Thanks for watching, everybody. You can't just say all of yours. I just did. <laughs>